up? Welcome to a new video. My name is Sonali and I'm so excited for this one because I'm finally sharing my before and afters of our bathroom renovation. We decided to do both of our full bathrooms at the same time because my contractor was going to give us a little bit of a discount. So we were like, why not? We'll shower at Lifetime for about four weeks and we got them done and they turned out so good, you guys. I feel like they turned out even better than I expected, and I'm just so happy that they're done, and that is out of the way, and now we can move on to other house projects. In this video, not only am I gonna show you guys the before and afters, but I'll also tell you where I got everything, as well as the process and some delays that we had to face. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that you guys can join us on future house projects, but let's get into the video. Welcome to our guest bathroom. This is actually my favorite out of the two. I prefer this one because it's like moodier and usually I do prefer natural light, but I don't know. I feel like this is just different and I'm obsessed with the tile in here. For this bathroom, we went for a little bit of a darker color. On the tiles, there are a few different shades, so we wanted to tie in the darker color in the tiles and I feel like we did a really good shade match. When I bought this house, I told myself I would have these kind of tiles somewhere in my home. I didn't know if it was gonna be the kitchen or the bathroom or even the main bathroom, but I do feel like it's a bit more trendy, so I wanted to save it for the guest bathroom to make it a bit more fun. I feel like we kept the primary bathroom more classic. I can't remember the name off the top of my head of the exact color that we chose, but it is from Sherman Williams and I'll put it in the description box below. Originally this bathroom had a tub and we were thinking about maybe getting rid of it, but then we were like, okay, for resale value, we need a tub somewhere in the house and we didn't want to keep the tub in the primary bathroom. So we just got a new tub that looked a little bit nicer and a little bit more modern. Um, and we decided to do the sliding glass doors behind here. Um, when the glass door guy came for me to like choose exactly what pictures I wanted and everything like that, I decided and then he told me when he was like putting in my order that the golds that I matched to all my pictures were not available in this specific handle. I liked that this wasn't too modern or it wasn't too traditional. I feel like it's a good mix of everything and it ties in with all the fixtures, but I was worried that the golds wouldn't match. I feel like that was my biggest issue during this whole bathroom renovation because I wasn't buying everything from the same brand because I wanted different looking things. It all kind of like just tied in together even though they are slightly different shades and I feel like to a normal human being, like you wouldn't even notice. So I kind of got over that pretty quick. For the most part, throughout the process, everything went very smooth, but we did have a couple of road bumps one being that I hated the trim in the primary bathroom. I'll show you guys because I haven't changed it because I didn't want to spend more money to fix it. Um, but basically they did that bathroom and so I knew that I like really did not like it. So we decided to go with um, no trim around the niche and just along this side of the tile is just like plain white. But in that bathroom we did gold and I just like didn't know because it's obviously my first bathroom that I'm renovating. But now I know for next time, do not do gold trim. I just feel like it cheapens the tile a little bit. One of my goals for this bathroom was to make it very moody, vibey, and relaxing for my guests. And also me because I'm definitely gonna be using this bathroom to get ready in and possibly shower, who knows. But I saw this one picture on Pinterest that had an LED lighting strip in this soap niche. And I was like, what if we put it on top of the shower? So our contractors made this Thing called a fur down which kind of diffuses the light so that you don't see the light strip so we opted for that and also additional lights back here which I'll get to in a second instead of can lights or recess lighting I also want to go in depth of where I got everything and I will also try to link everything down below if I can um, starting with the tub I got that from Home Depot the tile is all from the tile shop here in South Austin. I was gonna buy it from like Wayfair or like even just another tile store online, but my contractor really recommended that I buy local because then I was able to return the unopened boxes. So we got like a couple hundred dollars back after everything, which was really nice. This beautiful shower and tub fixture is from Amazon and it also comes in a couple different colors. There's like antique gold and brush gold, I believe. This bathroom is 
is kind of a weird shape because when you walk in, there's just like this big closet right next to you. So it's very cramped. And when I was looking at contractors, one guy actually had the idea of just knocking this whole thing out and having a double vanity, which would have been great, but that would have added a large additional cost. So we decided to not do that. But I think this area turned out so well. At first when I got the vanity, I was so sad because the wood color is just not exactly what it was online it was very ashy and cool toned online and this is more of like i don't know very warm and almost like orange especially when i saw it in natural light luckily there is no natural light in here because there are no windows so it really isn't horrible in the space so i'm glad i didn't have to like sand it or anything like that but the top of this is really what sold me i'm obsessed with the marble and i really really wanted a custom countertop in the primary bathroom but we were just kind of on a time crunch. We decided to not do it, and obviously it was going to be also an additional cost, so I'm glad we didn't do it because it actually looks really good without it. I got the vanity from Home Depot. Um, the fixture is from Amazon. These two sconces are from Amazon. They have two light bulbs right here, and they're dimmable, and then this mirror is also from Amazon, and I love it because it has a defogging setting as well as just the best freaking lighting. So you just tap it once, and it turns on and then you can kind of just decide what color of the light you want. So it could be like warm toned or you can go back to cool toned. These are LED light mirrors. So just make sure that you tell your contractor that because I didn't know that it was additional work. I don't know why, but I just didn't click my head. So they had to put like an outlet and kind of hardwire it into the wall, just like they did the sconces. We'll end in this bathroom in a second, but I wanted to talk about the floor tile. Um, these are square tiles. They're huge. I really love the look of large format tiles and you'll see in the primary in just a second. And originally we wanted to do the same floor tile because I just wanted to minimize decisions for me, but we ended up with this tile. I'll put the name again in the description box below as well as on the screen right here. Now we're in the primary bathroom. There's so much space in here. For some reason, the last vanity kind of made it feel a little bit cramped. I do think it was a little bit wider this way, so maybe that's why. There's so much beautiful light in here, and I guess we can start with over here. This is a Roman shade that was customized, and I got it on Amazon. It was the cheapest place that I found a custom Roman shade and it's really cool because you can just put it up like this and it kind of just folds it for you so it looks just really presentable whether it's down or up. I forgot to mention they also did new trim along the baseboards and all the windows and door frames so that made it look a little bit more modern because the last trim was a little bit more traditional and just didn't fit the vibe. So their original vanity did not have a double sink. It had one sink over here and a vanity area over here which I did like and I was trying to figure out how to put a vanity with double sinks but it just did not end up working out so we ended up getting this beautiful vanity on Wayfair. Originally I only saw the one with two drawers but we found the one with three and it has so much storage. There's not much in it right now. We still need to like organize everything. There is a little hole that's cut out on the top two drawers but the last drawer is a full drawer which is really nice and just lovely to have more storage. Right above the vanity everything is from Amazon including the fixtures, the mirrors, the sconces. This is the same brand of mirrors. It's just an arch instead of an oval. I was originally telling you guys my bathroom reno plans. I told you guys that I wanted some niches here just to maximize the storage but we just decided to nix that because it was going to be just a lot of work and again i was trying to minimize all decisions that i had to make but i think it turned out really well and also we got these outlets from amazon and they have usb-c and usb so we can just like charge our phones whenever we're getting ready now it's time for the main event let's show you guys the shower and the gold trim that i hated which i don't hate as much now and I knew this was going to happen and that's why I waited to do anything about it if I was going to do anything about it just to see all the fixtures in at the same time. Um, again, the glass door and the handle is the glass door guy. I'm not really sure where it came from. Um, but yeah, I just feel like the paint that we chose, I do remember this paint, it was Summer White by Sharon Williams. It is a little bit yellow, especially on the wall with the window. It looks very, very yellow at times, but on this side of the wall, it looks just like a warm, beautiful white. But because there's a little hint of yellow, I feel like it made the gold trim pop out even more. And I was like, I already hate it so much. Like, this is just 
not the vibe. But again, with everything in here, it's not that bad. Originally, there was a huge tub in here, but it was only about this big. So there was a faux wall right here and all the fixtures were on this side. So we decided to knock it out, make the shower a bit bigger. And my contractor put the handle over here and the water fixtures over there so that when you walk in, you can just like turn it on and not get wet immediately, which is very, very nice. I have so many shower products. I tried to not put them just yet because I didn't want it to look too cluttered, but that is the biggest reason why I put the niches on these sides so that when you walk into the bathroom, it's a little bit more hidden. It's not all up in your face right on on the back wall. Um, so there's one little soap niche right here that we can put soap and razors and just like tinier products. And then over here we have two giant soap niches, which is great because I just, again, have too many products. My contractor did think I was insane for needing two niches, but I have no regrets. We were debating on knocking out that faux wall because it was gonna cost us extra, but he decided to just throw it in for free, which was really nice. So then we were able to add a shower bench. Originally, I was going to put the shower bench along this whole wall right here, but my contractor brought up a good point and it would just be blocking a little bit of the pathway when you walk in. So we decided to opt for the diagonal bench. I'm just really excited to finally put up my foot to shave because when it's leg day, I cannot lift my feet up any higher. The shower fixture is from Amazon. It's actually just one product in three different parts. The shower drain is also from Amazon. And I guess that can segue us into the tile on the floor. When I was getting quotes from a bunch of contractors, they were showing me sample work and so many of them had the head hexagon or like penny shower floors, which no hate if you have that, but I feel like if I'm doing a reno in, you know, 2024, I need to be more updated than that. So I had the hardest time choosing a shower floor tile, but it was very helpful to just like walk in the tile shop and kind of just go through my options because there really wasn't that many but we ended up going with this beautiful herringbone tile i didn't want to do the same tile as the shower walls because it was just going to be too glossy and it's large format so i didn't want it to like slide there's just not any traction and obviously that's very dangerous in the shower we did however put the same tile on the bathroom floor um just not in the shower but we're just gonna have to get some rugs because I just really like the look of it. We also did the LED strip light in this bathroom. I just love the vibes of it and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Another road bump that we encountered was the paint, which actually caused a bit of delay. I originally wanted lime wash paint and I got the paint the first time. It was the wrong paint, so I had to order it again. And you can't just buy lime wash paint anywhere. I only really found it online, so that took a week. And then the day before they were supposed to start painting with the lime wash paint, my contractor texted me and told me that lime wash paint is not waterproof. And there was a TikTok that I saw that you could like seal it three times, but we were just like, it's gonna be a hit or miss. We'll just do regular paint. So that was kind of a bummer, but now you know, and I know for next time that lime wash paint is not waterproof, but you could do it in a half bath. And that's where I was seeing it on TikTok. And it just didn't really click in my mind that you can't really do it around a shower. So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the before and afters of the primary bathroom and the guest bathroom. It was such a fun process. Do I want to do it again immediately? Absolutely not. But I've learned a lot for future houses to come. I'm going to try to link everything that was in this video down below, especially everything from Amazon. And it's also going to be linked on my Amazon storefront under new home. If you live in the Austin area and are looking to do renos yourself, I highly recommend my contractor. He was amazing to work with and his team. If you are interested in his contact information, you can DM me on Instagram and I'll share it with you guys. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that button now. And you can see daily updates from me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is so underscore gnarly without the G. I will see you guys over there and in my next vlog. Bye!